A chunk of space debris provided quite a sound and light show over portions of the Midwest. Check out this picture from Zealand of the meteor. New at 7, Joe LaFergie talked with an astronomer about the phenomenon. It began with a bright white streak in the sky. It ended with a flash and a sonic boom. It just looked like a giant shooting star. Jessica McMurray was on her way home from work down US-131 near Wayland just after 8 Tuesday night when she saw it. It looked like a ball of fire going through the air. It looked like it hit a wall, made a dead stop, and then exploded. And then that's when it lit up the whole, whole entire sky. It got really bright. And I had to double check to make sure a couple other drivers were looking at it and make sure I wasn't crazy. From dash cams to home surveillance video feeds, the meteor was recorded for posterity. Michigan residents from Traverse City to Detroit and right here in West Michigan saw the phenomenon. It hit the atmosphere at about 28,000 miles an hour, slow for a meteor, according to NASA. This satellite image shows the meteor's path. Friction created by the space rock hitting the atmosphere took it from 250 degrees below zero in space to thousands of degrees above zero in Earth's atmosphere. The resulting explosion creating a thud strong enough to register as a two-pointer on the Richter scale. I felt a shimmy in my vehicle, but I wasn't, you know what I mean, I wasn't thinking mm -hmm. an earthquake. Phenomenon, yes. Rare, not so much. Hundreds of tons of material hit the Earth every year. Jim Farish is a Chaffee Planetarium Education Specialist and Secretary of the Grand Rapids Amateur Astronomical Association. We're 70% ocean, there's a lot of uninhabited deserts, there's the poles with ice. And so most of the things that come through our atmosphere, nobody's there to see them. Meteor Man tells it all. You can hear our entire interview with the Chaffee's Jim Farish at woodtv.com. In Grand Rapids, Joe LaFergie, 24 Hour News 8. Just so cool. Well, people are now looking around southeast Michigan to find a piece of that meteor. While you won't find a big boulder, you could come across a small piece of it. So what should you be looking for? Well, meteorites look like Earth's rocks, but with signs of burning. It'll also feel heavier than you think it should. If you think you found one, have it tested. They can be valuable, with one gram being worth as much as a thousand bucks. Sounds pretty good.